section 16.7. Now we're going to look at immune deficiency diseases, which are the hyposensitivity of the immune system. Immune deficiency diseases are divided into two categories. Primary immunodeficiencies are ones that are present at birth. They stem from genetic errors. Secondary immunodeficiencies are acquired after birth and are caused by natural or artificial agents. Primary immunodeficiencies are shown on this chart, which is a really pretty decent way of looking at this. So uh, DeGeorge syndrome is going to inhibit the pre-T cell from becoming specific to the antigen. It doesn't receive its receptors, so it inhibits the maturation process. And congenital A gamma globinemia will also prevent the B cell from maturing in the bone marrow, and then you don't have specific immunity for the B cells. Hypogammaglobinemia um, could be having to do with the ADA deficiencies, and you just don't produce the immunoglobulins, the IgGs, the IgMs, the IgAs. You don't produce any of the antibodies. Uh, when you have a T-cell deficiency like DeGeorge syndrome, you have more recurrent fungal, protozoal, and viral infections. When you have a B-cell deficiency, it seems that you have more recurrent bacterial infections. So you're lacking the immunity kind of in the blood, and this is why you know B-cells will affect the bacterial infections more, and T-cells, I'm not sure why. But this is something we see with even HIV. HIV will create um, an issue where you have more fungal and viral and protozoal infections. So this severe combined immunodeficiency means that you either don't produce the lymphoid stem cells, so no B or T cells, not even a pre-B or pre-T, um, and there's also this X-linked severe combined immunodeficiency, and that is where your pre-T and pre-B cells do not develop into mature B and T cells. So they basically have to be held in a plastic bubble in a room that is completely germ-free and they cannot get out into the environment because if they catch even a, a, a little sniffle, they're going to die because they have no specific immunity. So A gamma globinemia just literally means absence A gamma globulin gamma globulin, gamma globinemia in the blood. So it's a very, um, you know, just look at the name and that'll tell you gamma globinemia, so you're lacking B cells. And hypogamma globinemia um, is probably the more often term, the, the more common term to be used for that. And the T cell function with these is normal. So a deficient uh, or a genetic defect in T cell development is a broad spectrum of diseases where you have severe opportunistic infections, wasting cancer, and it's usually much more devastating than defective B cell. T cells are required to assist those other immune cells and the, you know, the T helper especially. And an abnormal development of the thymus is the DeGeorge syndrome. And so it occurs in errors on and deletions, errors in embryonic development or deletions in the chromosome 22. So it's characterized by a lack of cell mediated immunity, so no T cells, and they have more persistent fungal, viral, and protozoal infections. So vaccinations using a live attenuated microbe pose a danger because they're not able to really even do any development of T cell immunity, so it won't be effective, but that could actually kill them too um, if it's a live virus vaccine. Normal childhood infections can be fatal as well. So a dysfunction of T and B cells would be the severe combined immunodeficiencies. So it's the most serious and potentially harmful form of immunodeficiency. It involves the dysfunction of both the lymphocytes and it's due to the absence of lymphocyte stem cells or it could be dysfunction of the later development, so the maturation. But either way, you have no B cells or T cells, no specific immunity and you're relying completely on innate immunity, which is not going to be enough in many cases. Most infants manifest symptoms within days after birth. 
So there's different types, and I'm not going to ask that you know the different types, but just know that it's both B and T cells are affected. So secondary immunodeficiencies are deficiencies in both the B and T cells, but it's due, due to like infection, non-infectious metabolic disease, chemotherapy, radiation, and so these types of things can make you more susceptible to infections and it's also a, a type of immunodeficiency. So you acquire it and um, if you get over these things, if you, you know, stop the chemotherapy or radiation or um, you get over an infection, then these things will, you'll return to normal. Non-infectious metabolic disease probably is going to last for longer and um, another AIDS is something that we have not been able to figure out a way to cure. And so you may not get your immune system back after those. AIDS is the most recognized immune deficiency disease and it's the T helper cells which are at the center of the immune response. They activate all of the T cell, the cell mediated immunity, and then the, some of the T cells then T helper cells will activate the B cells and macrophages and monocytes and antigen presenting cells are affected with the HIV. So depletion of T helper cells are a functional impairment in the immune system responses and they account for cancers and opportunistic protozoal, fungal and viral infections just like your DeGeorge syndrome. You're going to have more recurrent infections because of that. Cancers are um, also going to result in an immunodeficiency. So leukemia is uh, a massive number of cancer cells displace the normal cells of the bone marrow and blood. Plasma cell tumors produce large amounts of non-functional antibodies. Thymus tumors can cause T cell deficiencies. So these are some other ways that you can acquire an immune deficiency. Our last concept check question for 16 section 7 is this. So question 1, a number of B cell immunodeficiencies are linked to the blank chromosome. So there's like 46 chromosomes. This is a little tough, but the one that they're asking about because males have this more often than females, it's the X chromosome. In blank syndrome, patients lack cell-mediated immunity. So that is DeGeorge syndrome. Patients with blank, blank, blank lack the function of both B and T cells. And that would be severe combined immunodeficiency. And question four, the most common infection-induced immunodeficiency is it's AIDS, so Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. And that is the end of Chapter 16.